with many Americans hitting the road and returning to work, that congested commute is also making a comeback. This is the one thing I hate about coming out of work. I guess we're stuck in traffic for the next 44 minutes. Marking a major shift from those ghost town drives during the height of the pandemic as frustrated travelers buckle up for stop and go traffic. Seriously, tell me why this is traffic at 630 in the morning. Now, new research from traffic data firm Streetlight shows where and when people drive has changed. A lot of this sort of extra driving that's happening is actually happening closer to home as opposed to people driving into downtown the way they did, you know, for the last decade. The reason why working from home has become more common, which means fewer people are choosing to be so called super commuters, opting out of traveling long distances to make it into an office. But that also means more people are on the roads outside of downtown city centers and their more flexible schedules allow them to run errands during the day, like going out for coffee or picking up kids from school, which is causing more congestion in the suburbs. Researchers also say work from home culture has altered the timing of traffic trends too. In every downtown area studied, the morning commute is less congested than in years past. That's because people who do travel into the office seem to be hitting the road later in the day and are returning home earlier. The result, a midday bumper to bumper bottleneck, usually between 11 and 3 p.m. Even though it's worse than it was, uh, it's still better to drive midday than it is to drive during the, the evening rush hour. It sounds like on the flip side, there's no guaranteed good time to be out anymore. I think that's absolutely right, unless you could do it at night. Other ways to avert getting caught in gridlock? Carpool with others to reduce congestion and even save money on gas. Use navigation apps with live traffic monitoring to route you past any unexpected backups on your usual route. And once on the road, stay in your lane. One study found weaving into faster moving lanes actually had no effect on travel time and ultimately slowed the flow of traffic. There you go, that might surprise a lot of people. Okay, so one more tip, because of course there's an app for that. We're showing Google Maps here, and let's say because we're in Chicago, I have to get to Willis Tower. This will tell you when you should actually leave, depending on congestion. Type in Willis Tower, hit directions like you always would, and then see these three dots in the upper right-hand corner. Click on those and hit set, depart, or arrive time. Guys, I never knew this existed until my producer showed me. Let's say I wanna get there at about 9.30. I hit done and it shows me 930 in Chicago. That would typically take me five to 12 minutes. And then it shows you often you can depart at 930 uh, to get there on time, five to 12 minutes, obviously being the drive time. So that'll help people kind of get around these peak congestions, but especially during that midday, because that's a new one. Just one more tip to avoid this stress. Guys, I'll send it back to you. Oh, Maggie, thank look you. Look at Maggie with the tip there. But you I already like knew the, about that. I did I'm so know. Impressed. Yeah, it tells you when to depart. You hit the button. Maggie, I, there's one thing I knew before Maggie Vest. I mean, I know. The only thing. I know. She's always on top of <laughs> yeah. it. I didn't know about the weaving in and out. I didn't know guys. that's that extra added time. Well, there, by the way, there's nothing more satisfying than a guy zooming past you, cutting yeah. in front of you, yeah. cutting 10 people off, and then getting to a stoplight and seeing See him right next to you. And you're like, hey. hey. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's be kind. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.